What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ooch. I'm here with my brother, Ooch. And the homie, Kai. And we are back again. Once again. How y'all doing today? What's going on, good folks at home? It's your boys, the gang of the Full Power Podcast. We're back again once again. Here with another banger. Didn't have an episode last week. We took the week off. Needed a little bit of a refreshing, restart kind of a... They had a lot going on and everything, so didn't want to scramble and try to just put up some, you know, whatever episode for you guys. So hopefully you guys didn't miss us within that week because we definitely missed you guys Um, because Full Power Podcast is definitely a lot of fun to get going. So in regards to uh, getting going, brother, how you doing today, sir? I'm doing good, you know, feeling, feeling healthy, clean. Know that <laughs> it's, it's always a plus to stay clean. Kai, how about yourself? Yeah, pretty, pretty good. I'm ready for uh, what we're about to get into. Mm, okay, yeah. So, yeah, we started, we started, we started priming this this episode. Not gonna lie, guys, started priming it a little bit so that way we we knew exactly what the what the hell was going on over here. <laughs> and uh, but really quick, I have a few comments from the last episode that we did record in regards to the super chapter review that was basically what that episode was all about not too many comments just gonna like quickly go over these and then the main topic of discussion for this week's episode is anime that was heartbreaking now it's gonna you're probably gonna hear a mixture of things when it comes to that and as far as like what exactly qualifies as a heartbreaking anime for me personally well Let's get into that when we get into it, and then I'll explain from that point on. So, first and foremost, the comments from the last episode. So, this person goes and says, uh, so again, to keep in mind, this is a chapter review for chapter 80, I think it was, right? That's, what, that's the last chapter number that we was at, 80, 81? I'm not sure. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, so, here we go. So, they're saying, and about the rage thing, Goku as a Super Saiyan raging against frieza is not as strong as master super saiyan and ui omen is weaker than ui mastered so it is possible for broly to be stronger if he masters his power i'm surprised you guys didn't even remember any of this okay any any uh thoughts on that no no <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I don't, I don't really have anything for that either to be honest um yeah, I just, I don't know. I I barely kind of understood what that, what he even said. UI Omen, like what? Yeah, yeah, I'm not. Well, oh, so that? There, with the lingo. He, UI Omen is Ultra Instinct. Like it's the black haired one. The un, yeah, the, the first, imperfect one. Mm -hmm, okay. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So what's he so, getting at? So I got to read it again because. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying something stronger than something. Oh, so I think this is this was in reference to the conversation we were having about like the idea of rage, Broly like, controlling like his power. yeah, like no control versus controlled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. controlled kind of being like limited to a degree, whereas mm -hmm, no mm -hmm. control, there's just no bounds, no limits, no nothing, right? Yeah so i think yeah i'm pretty sure that's what they were referring to and then they bring up how goku as a super saiyan uh raging against frieza is not as strong as mastered super saiyan i don't know why he said master super saiyan because yeah what what yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is yeah. just confusion yeah yeah so i i think the the, the point that this comment is trying to make is simply that that broly could obviously learn how to control his 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 power that he has and even if he learns how to con you know uh, you know if he it's assumed he he controls all of it then you know his his version of whatever form that he wants to throw on could rival or be stronger than whatever other stuff that we're already familiar with i guess so you're saying ultra instinct like quite possibly 
Yeah. Because, I mean, the way he was wearing that shit is, I don't know, he was looking like a debunk. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I don't know. I don't yeah. really know. I don't know. Next. The other... <laughs> <laughs> the the same person they said gohan's tail did grow back i did not peep this in the movie trailer at all wait he said the movie tr the movie well, he, didn't even, he, didn't, he didn't even say the movie he didn't even mention the movie but i'm assuming that's what they're talking about because gohan's not even in this fucking arc right now so the only gohan anything that's happening is that movie that's coming up that's it i don't remember his tail growing yeah, Back? I, I don't either, unless I you missed never, something. We ne we never seen anything from Z mentioning that. No. Or Super, we don't even, fuck no. fuck Super go on, man. You don't even <laughs> fucking it doesn't do nothing. <laughs> Next question. That's bro. because. That's because it was in the anime only. Gohan's tail did grow back once, but Piccolo removed it again, and yeah, then it was yeah. never. It never happened again. But oh, like, maybe that's what they're referring to then. Maybe that's what yeah, it's to. old, like Z, like early Z. Yeah, yeah, like that's the only thing you can say that from, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they like, say I, that. I, I was just gonna say they say that for Saiyans. I, I've read this like a long time ago, but um, for Saiyans, like their tails would regrow back, but it's only like at a certain age, like when they're young. So you know, if yeah, that yeah. cut off when you're older, it's done. Mm. Mm. Yeah. See that 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 I'm that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now I remember sense. what we were talking about last time because I was saying that 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 shit might have to get retconned, you know, if they yeah. if they if they plan to use that going forward, like, you know, because, right. you know, like they, if, if, if this man Toriyama can retcon just about whatever he wants, like, I, I don't see why retcon in the tails is going to be that big of a deal. You know what I'm saying? I mean, low key, that makes sense. And I fucking hate using this example, but this this brings G GT into play because when Goku is in his young form, his tail grew back. Well, yeah, he pulled it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. so time, it yeah. regrew. Yeah, like, you know what I mean. I mean, so it, like, it really like, did regrow. All they did was yank it out to speed the process it, up. It exactly. was regrowing on its own, and it's because exactly. it's a childish body again. So that, that makes sense. Yes. That's, that's that's what I'm talking yes. about. Yes absolutely correct yep this is Damn. why this is why niggas need to stop hating on gt nah but fuck GT, it, suck. <laughs> no, 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 fuck that shit. it follows the story more than the real story <laughs> yo nah, they got logic hey yeah. it might not has been it not it might not have been people's favorite for whatever reason and, and that's, that's okay fair, and that's totally okay you understand you know why you know why <laughs> yes i know <laughs> why because yes even even as a child watching GT when it was on motherfucking TV back in the day, I was a little weird yeah. feeling about seeing Goku turning into a freaking child again. Okay, yeah. but he was still throwing hands. See, he was, it was still, dreadful. He was, but he was still throwing the only, hands. The only thing I could like really like when he turned Super Saiyan Four, I was okay. Everything right. else, I was just like, fuck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like for me, because that was like GT was Super my Saint. first Dragon Ball experience, period. Right. So, so you know, like, uh, and that's and that and that right there is rare. I I don't think I think you're the only person I ever have ever spoken to about anything anime where GT was their like gateway in. It to it the rest really of it. was the gateway for me. It was the first thing. I mean, like, yeah, I I had been messing with Pokemon and Yu Gi Oh beforehand, but like actually watching something like that. It was definitely GT that uh, that hit it first, and right. I agree. I wasn't I wasn't the best fan of Goku being in kid form, but I also didn't know that he wasn't supposed to be a kid at the time. I just knew that this man got fur and grew up when he got serious. And you know what? The Shadow Dragons arc is still some of the toughest shit I can think of to date, like story wise and everything. Overusing the them, letting that negative energy build up, that's fire. The Shadow Tell Dragons him. was 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 cool, but the Goku being in fucking child form was just fucking dreadful. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> the entire time. The entire yeah. time. Yeah. Because I'm pretty fine. sure it cut his strength. And then when he was Super Saiyan 4, then, you know, like, it definitely he got, did he got he was significantly stronger. Exactly. My point. <laughs> I ain't trying yeah. to see that that form, bro. Yeah. Well, but, yeah, whatever. It happened. And like, I, like I'm already saying, 
they could retcon all of that. And yo, you know what would be funny? If they decided that when they get to that point, they have it happen again, but it's for like one episode. No. And that's it. <laughs> He literally just like they wish him in, something happens. He he gets wished to uh, being a kid, and everyone fucking flips their shit on Twitter. And the whole everybody's like, "Oh my god, they're doing it again!" What? And then it's a swerve. Like I I, I think that would be in good humor, just to like get it out there. And I'm sure Toriyama would he would probably get a fucking laugh out of it too, because this guy's old as shit and he's still providing story and shit and you know i mean he, he hasn't lost it considering that he he wrote broly and that shit was fire so cam i'm not knocking him despite all the other shit we knock him for i would <laughs> rather them just wish for their tails back or some shit and go that route make it easy yeah yeah that makes sense because i ain't trying to see that dreadful shit <laughs> yeah i mean honestly like when you think of it that way it's just like why wouldn't they be able to like they don't need to make anything complicated anymore like if if boma can wish herself to look five years younger every so often <laughs> why can't they just wish back for something they already had that was like a bodily feature you know what i'm saying it's a part of them bro right technically wishing for youth wishing for a fucking tail i'm pretty sure like I'm pretty sure that's possible. <laughs> she... Alright, what's the next question? Yeah, so this is the only, this is the only one we have left. Because the, uh, the, 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 la the very last one was just someone complimenting us, saying that they love seeing our faces. So, why Kai needs a webcam so we can see all fucking three of us. <laughs> but, um... Alright, so this person goes... Uh, he has always done the rock smash destruction move. Probably talking about Broly. Even during his first fight... Oh wait, never mind. That's gas. Uh, even during his first fight with the heaters, after getting his powers, and also with Goku and Vegeta, where Vegeta calls the move similar to destruction, his clone move was the main reason he defeated Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku, as his half clone was elsewhere. Oh no, he's talking about uh, Granola. And he says, also, they did mention at the panel for the movie that they won't spoil this arc by telling who the when the movie occurs so there's maybe a link well i've been saying when the fuck is happening that much is obvious like they, they're not gonna confirm or deny it because if they say anything it will definitely spoil it but situations like this you can't it, it's very hard to not like like even if you even if you don't have a response you can say that gives it away you know, like the, the 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 little clues are literally in the trailer that we've had. It's safe to assume where it takes fucking place and where we're heading after that. So, y'all got anything else? No, not for that. All right. Okay, so here we go. So, topic of main topic of the session. So again, guys, thank you guys for your comments. First and foremost. And uh, if you guys are trying to get your comments heard on this podcast, let us know in the comments and respond to the Spotify and email us at fullpowerpod at gmail.com with all your comments, questions, concerns, and possible future episode topics. So, with all that being said, the main topic of discussion, heartbreaking anime. So, you're going to probably hear a bunch of different type of responses from the three of us um we each see something different with the term heartbreaking in, re in reference to anime specifically for me personally i'm gonna be talking mainly about anime that i started to really mess with and then by the end of it it just totally it broke my heart like it like it like ruined me in some fucking capacity so y'all are gonna say right. whatever was heartbreaking for whatever reasons y'all got and i'm down to hear it i can't go first yeah neither can <laughs> i i think you gotta go first this time Mooch. all right that's fine that's fine i have a few okay so i'll do i'll do like i'll do one i'll give one and then like pass it on to somebody else so that way that you know i'm not like talking the whole episode just me um 
The first one I'm gonna start off with is easy. This is one of the first ones that comes to my mind, right? It's a it's an anime called Juni Tyson. Now, brother Uch, you might remember this one, but if you forgot, don't blame you, because it came and went. They never brought it back. Never had a season two, and for fucking good reason, because this was a show where. It was about like 12 different characters. It was like a constant, f literal fight for survival, fight to the death. It was this crazy tournament where, kind of like Tournament of Power, except it wasn't, you know, 12 different universes full of 10, you know, teams of 10. It was just, you know, 12 individual people representing a clan. I, and, I, remember, I know what you're talking about. Okay. I and they all had to like this was a tournament that happened like every like 100 years or some shit like that and mm -hmm. they meet up and the winner gets awarded like some whatever prize they want they wish right? were pretty much they yeah it's a, this is so essentially low key this came before super too so that uh, now, I'm, now i'm starting to be a little sus <laughs> where they fucking got a top idea from right either way it was really good because they have you at some at one point feeling like you know you're following a certain character and you're like okay well maybe they're they're gonna be the one to win but then there's like constant twists because the next thing you know that character dies and you're like wait what right. like what the fuck is this right so you're like okay so then your interest is grabbed so you keep watching all these episodes after and after and you start to learn a little bit more about all the other characters that are involved. Some more than others, I will admit. But overall, the package deal that you got was pretty good. I was like, yo, like this is this is really getting somewhere. I'm really seeing, I'm waiting to see where this fucking goes, right? It turns mm -hmm. out, and I'm, this is gonna obviously I'm gonna spoil it because it's heartbreaking. <laughs> I gotta reveal why it was fucking heartbreaking, right? Is the guy who fucking wins was barely involved he was one of the lesser guys shown off he was basically like in hiding most of the time he didn't really get to do shit and he dies anyway so ev though every single per it was like pointless like why did i even watch this it was 12 episodes 12 episodes 12 of episodes. fucking shit because <laughs> it, it's literally is how you leave them okay you can have a great beginning and middle, but if your ending is garbage, it shits on the whole fucking thing. You can't have, you can't give me a good plate of food and be like, yo, this is fucking Chef Ramsay made it. It's got the fucking, you got the freaking salt bay in there. And then you just, and then you fucking put it into your ass and fart on it. Is it the same? No, it's shit. It's shit at that point. So there's my first one. Junie Tyson fucking heartbreak. I can't believe this was this was uh the, the beginning to where I really started to tread a little thin with with anime because there was some others that was a lot worse, I would say, but I had to start with that one. So who wants to go next? Megalobox. <laughs> You already know why. <laughs> I don't even know if I have to say anything. <laughs> true, true anime fans know exactly what the fuck I'm on about. I don't gotta say shit. Cause I really fucking slapped the fucking owner. <laughs> Dead ass bro. I'm slit. Nah man. Yo. That's one. That's one for me. I'm not even gonna lie Brandon. I was gonna save that shit for last. But I was just Hi, scrolling you... through. I was just scrolling through some anime in the in the list, and I was like, "Bruh." Kai, did you that ever watch Megalo Box? No, I've never even heard of it. Oh man, let's talk about it real quick because Brandon just mentioning it is like, wow, like, yeah, that, that Megalo Box is definitely one of the epitome anime of heartbreak true heartbreak mm. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain it to you like this, Kai, because it's been a while since I talked about Megalobox, and people that have followed me, they, they know how I feel about Megalobox. And when uh, I tell yeah. you, yo, Kai, yo, how do you start something so good? Well, I, I it's, it was good. No, it no, was Brandon. good. It was perfect. It was good. It was perfect. And then the ending just fucked it all up. <sighs> Kai, let me explain. Let me explain to you something, bro. <laughs> I want to I want to explain to you like this. Imagine an anime where the aesthetic is so fucking cool. Okay? If it it, it was a uh, So the show is based off of an old manga but i think they like modernized well they didn't really modernize it i guess from what i'm trying to how i'm explaining it but it had a very 90s vibe okay like this shit was 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 something that was in the modern era but like obviously it had like all you know the you know fresh animations and whatnot like it looked good but it's it, it, it was able to check off something that was not happening at the time it felt very old school in a sense and it had like a very hip-hop kind of you know like aesthetic and vibe to it and it was just different it hit different and the whole point is uh, it's a boxing anime right and so it's it's straight fights it's it's straight fists and what made this shit so good is they made it was divisive because they had to they had to make an entire thing a setting an idea what something that was just regular day to day for all these boxers that was in this shit the megalo boxing right the divisive shit i'm talking about is this boxing you could kind of say it was more futuristic because these boxers right they all had some gear that's literally what it was called it was gear where they was attached to their arms and some of them had special effects and shit and it did like different things so he's like okay like this is cool the main character did not have gear mans was winning he was going through it he was he was on the streets he had nobody and he had he he literally got with like this with with this like old dude who ended up being like his coach and then they had to look after a kid who was also on the streets and it was like it was crazy they went through it son and the whole point was to get to megalomania and this shit was this is short it's like what 12 episodes 13 13 13 they had the guy the guy the champion he had a little run-in of course at the beginning of the show you knew this is how it's gonna end right here these two dudes are somehow gonna meet and they're gonna fight the whole show progresses there's so much drama emotion there's so like i'm saying there's so much shit that they're going through my man literally had to lose an eye just to give this guy another fucking chance because they got fucked over going right. up in the ranks and in order to let that dude slide he fucking gave his eye up and he already had one he already had one so fast forward why is this heartbreaking it was so heartbreaking kai because of how invested and how fucking perfect this shit was an easy 10 out of 10 anime highly recommend until you get to the last episode everyone's hyped they're waiting for the last episode to air megalobox is on tanami megalobox here everyone's talking about it on twitter and then you don't hear anybody talking about it it just fucking disappeared like it wasn't even there in the first place because you want to know why the fight didn't happen. What? Joe versus uh uh what was that? What was the dude's name? Freaking Yuri. Uh, uh, was it Yuri? Was it Yuri? I, I think. think. 
Joe versus Yuri. Joe versus Yuri was the build main event of this entire shit. They never fought. Joe around. gets to the fucking top megalomania pinnacle. They're, they they show these dudes in the <clears throat> ring. And then they have a flash forward a few years later. Time skip. And then you see these two dudes sitting on a bench. Talking about the fight. Talking. About the fight. And they don't tell you who won. Bah. And that's how they leave us. That. Yo, I have a great comparison to that. And I'll say it is the Jaden and Yugi duel. Oh, no, 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 oh, We, can, we can talk about that one after. But I want to hear Kai's thoughts on, on fucking Megalobox right now. How do That's you fucked. feel hearing that? That's fucked. That's, <laughs> that's, that's fucked. <laughs> Heartbreak, son. Heart shredded. They took a whole fucking... They just blew my shit up. I couldn't... Yo, I was in Florida. Oh, no, 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 no. I wasn't in Florida. I was at a tournament. And when they had this shit airing, or maybe I was in Florida. I was, I remember I was at a tournament. And I was with Bree. And we were so fucking hyped. We were like, yo, last episode. I can't wait. We were so, and then it was like, it killed everything. We were just like, are you fucking serious? That's it? It was so sad. Like, I literally was like, depressed it was terrible one of the worst feelings ever is to be so heavily invested into something that is so good that is so good like i'm telling you easily if you if i tell people if you really want to get into megalo box i tell them watch the first 12 episodes don't even bother watching the last one because if you want to ride it out you want to have those all those good feels of knowing that yo this shit that I just spent weeks and weeks and weeks, months watching every fucking week. I want to keep that in my memory as one of the greatest. Then watch 1 to 12. Don't watch 13. As soon as you do, flush it. It's done. It's dead. Well, all right. Yeah. So now you, now you got to Now you got to give us one. I'm, I'm gonna take an easy cop out here. Promise Neverland. You guys are naming the good ones. Oh no! I'm gonna take oh. an easy cop out right now. You see, just no, you see, I haven't watched the whole the second season. I'm and probably not going don't. to. But right. I, I've just heard, bro. That's just depressing. You think so? <laughs> Kai, did you did you read the manga, Kai? No, I didn't. Okay. See, none of y'all know, yo, none of y'all understand what I've been through with these fucking shows. Ah. Yo, what, so what, what did you hear, Kai? What did you hear about Promise Number? Why is it heartbreaking for you? Why is it easy cop out? Explain. I heard that, I heard that it derails so hard from what the show was initially about that is completely unworth watching and i heard that wherever season two picks up there's a lot of like missed shit in between that doesn't answer questions and just leaves you like is this really the same show or not nah? y'all want to know what happens i don't know i don't have to, I don't have to tell you if you want to go read it eventually just say the word i won't say shit i ain't probably gonna touch it <laughs> I did start watching like the first few episodes of two, but then like then stop because yeah, I heard... you're good up until episode three. Episode three is the cutoff, and then that's when it goes fucking off the rails. I didn't even see that many. Okay, so right. Okay, so <sighs> fucking promise Neverland, bro. That was another one of mine too. That see that that is that is also peak right next to Mega Box. Well, nah, see because. The difference between Megalobox and Promise Neverland for me was that I had no inclination of what to expect and it was fire until the end, like I said, right? However, Promise Neverland, I already read all the manga, so I knew what to expect. I knew how fire this shit was going to be. I was literally, after watching the last episode of season one, 
when that shit was fresh i immediately went to the manga immediately didn't waste any time caught up i was reading through at my old job that i had when i used to work over there in new york when we were slow i was reading them chapters on my phone and let me tell you this shit easily one of the goats one of the greatest you want to talk about unique story you want to talk about something we've never seen before you want to talk about some shit that was just like wow like th it's going in all these different directions i can't predict a single thing that's gonna fucking happen nothing and guess what brother ooch over here this is the same thing this was one of the reasons why we were fucking hooked on Promise Neverland. Because this is one of the few animes where we were literally like, what's going to happen next? All right. <laughs> we were, dude. Pretty much like I, an Attack on Titan. Yes. Yes. It's always the unique ones that have the themes that you never would expect to really watch that gets you. Because I never would have imagined when we watched it that we would have been so hooked into watching a bunch of orphans right. trying to escape their fucking house because there's a bigger problem going on outside and around them. Like, <sighs> dude, they really, they really fucked it up, bro. And, 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 and coming from someone that read it, and again, I'm not gonna spoil nothing, but coming from someone that I that read the whole shit and as I'm watching and I start to notice a few things and I'm like what's happening because there's a part where they end up in a certain spot because obviously we know after season 1 they escape right they 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 the plan is is a go they leave mama behind and they and the plan is successful and then they leave like phil and the rest of the young is to watch the rest of the kids that couldn't come so clearly they're just trying to fucking get out you know they end up in a place that is is like the spark that really ignites what trails after that and a certain thing where that wasn't there I started, I, I was questioning. I was like, wait a minute. I don't remember it like this. What happened? And I really start to wonder by the next episode, it was clear as day. I'm like, they're changing it. Why? Why? Oh, really? Dude, Kai, when I tell you, when I tell you that there was so much that was supposed to happen from the point that I'm talking about to like, first of all, the way it ends in season two, I don't even remember because it sucked. It wasn't, the, it wasn't the accurate fucking finish. That's not what happened. Why they got to do that. Why, why change it? You're supposed to adapt it, not fucking transform it. Listen, creators that don't follow the fucking rule book, you're done. <laughs> it's that simple like wow how is it that hard to implement something that you made in the manga to the animation well the manga cut they don't have that's not on them that's completely not in their hands they don't what? have any yeah brandon I've, I've explained this shit to you before dude it, they have a whole animation studio it's a group oh, yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. several people that work on this shit and then it's the people in power that are you know like the storyboard writers and all that shit the directors they're the ones to fucking blame because they're the ones that are making the decision to produce it the way they want to produce it and on that topic let me just say that i my belief behind that those poorly made decisions from these japanese individuals who were sitting around a fucking table fucking talking about this shit trying to figure out oh yeah how are we gonna put out uh promise neverland when we come when, it, when we bring it back right 
what they what they did and this is rare i feel like for a very prestigious fucking series like this because promise neverland was killing it in the sales clearly it killed it enough to get a fucking anime when it did right and so they decided this is my hunch i feel like they decided that you know what we're just gonna do it for the name value we're gonna do it for the name value and we're just gonna change it so that we can just wrap it up with one season call it a day make the money and that's it that's it simple as that fucking greed bullshit reasoning that's but it wouldn't wouldn't changing it like mean more work well no because let me tell like i'm like i'm trying to say without spoiling there is so dude promise neverland could have been like five seasons low key well no i understand that but what i'm trying to i'm because i'm thinking i'm trying to think logical here so like if the if, if they're taking shit from the manga ka whatever and it goes to anime studios all they gotta do is fucking translate the manga put it into animation well, they don't yeah. gotta fucking tw fucking twiddle with the shit like you know yeah no like see logically yes that's that's how it should be naturally because the first thing that all readers will will say is i can't wait to see this shit animated first thing easy because it is it is the art styles and the stories and the fight scenes that happen so that are so well depicted on a fucking piece of paper that gets people so excited to then go make sure they have a subscription for whatever service that's gonna have it so that they can go and enjoy it in real time colorful voice acting soundtrack the whole nine so what they did for promise neverland was they took the easy way out they decided that they didn't want to for some reason i mean who knows maybe maybe their schedule wasn't up to par and they just didn't feel like trying to make it work with promise neverland so that they could do it right and just do the season two the right way end it however way it was supposed to you know at whatever stopping point and then you know continue it like anything else that has fucking obviously a lot of story to tell like it's just it's just really painful nowadays because i feel like you have to have a show that just hits and it has to hit in a, in in such a high way for for them to prioritize the show itself to make sure that it's done correctly and there's not you know it doesn't it doesn't end up in filler territory or or you know it it, it goes on hiatus for too long like it has to i don't know like it's it, it's weird it's honestly it's probably it's pretty much by case by case basis because i don't know why the fuck it took them so long to bring and bring back attack on titan when we was in a drought for all those years after the first fucking season right but i don't know man a, a show like promise neverland i like i said it could have easily been like five seasons at least five seasons for the amount of content and story that they had to tell the amount of shit that happened and honestly this is one of those things where i will always highly advise people highly advise you read that fucking manga it's not even that long it's under it's uh yeah it's like under 200 chapters so it's not even the longest shit it's i think it's technically it's shorter than demon slayer i think i'm just gonna do a quick check real quick because i got the shonen jump app right here on my phone and uh demon slayer is 205 right and the promised neverland is 185 20 volumes okay i'm telling you guys and brand i know you're not gonna read it but i feel like this is one of those fucking emergency situations that you just have to fucking read that shit so that you really see how this story was supposed to play out and all of the greatness kai you too i know i know it's easier to convince you to read this shit but like promise neverland 100 percent in my heartbreak list up there definitely like right next to the megalo box probably 
Just see, man. I mean, when it comes to like other heartbreaks <laughs> outside of that shit, like, I hate. I hate when animes only get one animation season or whatever, and they don't get the opportunity to make another season. Especially because I, like me personally, I know if a show got like that type of potential. So like, I'm gonna just mention the comic got kill right there, but I know you Yo, haven't watched that shit. I was ready to I say just that. Don't, I just don't understand. Like, wh- like who, who? <laughs> who decides these things right. because they're like i don't know but like because sometimes I, I just be on the anime search especially because right now there's really only attack on titan and demon slayer to fucking actually really watch like like yeah. weekly when it comes out and shit and that shit is probably gonna end soon like there's only probably like a couple more episodes there is like a few left between I, both I, get... between both well um, demon slayer um, has one that that that's already decided exactly my point <laughs> that's there's like gonna, got maybe oh three shit. there's gonna be like nothing else to really watch <laughs> when i really think about it like unless like i i decide to catch up on other shit like sword art i guess or if i can like i don't even fucking know i'd have to really look but like yeah no like shows that really don't get the opportunity and they only get like a season whether it's 12 to 24 episodes You'll, you'll be lucky if they actually get to 24 episodes, but, like, generally the ones that are, like, 12 episodes or some shit, 13 episodes, like, th- that's just heartbreaking. Especially if it ends, like, at a point to where you know there could be more. Like, I'm just like, bruh, what the fuck are y'all doing? <laughs> like, like, it's just, it just saddens me, bruh. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, <laughs> like i don't know like it just hits me different when i know that there could be more especially like like shit i'm gonna even mention fairy tale like that shit was lengthy but i know they could have done more they just ended it on whatever season it was but then they had like they had another side story in the manga like that they they, they, they didn't animate so like that it could have led to something else that's an example that's another example because i already mentioned the comic got killed but like, Akami got killed was fire, number one. Right, number two, well, I guess number three at this point. Do you <laughs> remember that one anime that was, it's like, it gives you a similar vibe to Attack on Titan, but it was the dude with a sword. I, I forget the fucking name. It, we, we watched it at one point when you were still living here, at least. <laughs> I'm trying to fucking remember that shit, because that was good. With a sword? Yeah, like, he was taken out, like... I don't even fucking know. I would really have to dig in and uh, find out. Was it? It was. Ve- it had a very similar feel to Attack on Titan, just because of like the deaths that was happening and shit like that. Like was... it re- like it stuck out heavy. Um, I'm trying to fucking remember. Was it God Eater? Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. That is what that is what I'm talking about. That man. shit was crazy, yeah. That season, shit had so it. much potential and you know it could have went further, bro. Like I, they didn't even finish the shit, bro. Like Yeah, you know that why? It's just painful. They probably wanted you to play the games cuz there's like 3 God Eater games. But what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> we don't want the game. We want the <laughs> fucking show. <laughs> like it was only thirteen episodes, and that shit had so much. But that shit better come back one of these days. I'll f- yo, these niggas that's, don't want to hear me. That's how I feel about if we're if we're going on to the well, but b- b- before I leave the old uh, the old heartbreak version, right? Mm. I'm, I'm gonna throw out one i have not seen a lick of this show i have not seen a single fucking minute of an episode of this show but i know it makes this list because of the clout that people gave it for making this list of heartbreaks right tokyo ghoul yo Whoa. <laughs> damn okay Whoa. let's fucking talk about you see it. you see i haven't seen the second season Me of neither. tokyo ghoul <laughs> but i wa- i actually forgot about that shit I, look, I'm a, I'm a, I gotta restart that bitch <laughs> let's see, I gotta... listen <laughs> yo I forgot Listen, how good that shit was. Not gonna that lie. shit was a fucking banger see, see, anime. But that's the thing, though. That's the thing. How good it was. That's the problem. Well, you see, I don't, I don't know about the second season. 
I just know about the first season. Yeah. That's so, all most people know about. But and 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 therein lies the problem, and I could totally count that as a heartbreak because exactly. there's a roadblock for no fucking reason. And the roadblock, right, is a preference-based roadblock because unfortunately, for those that don't know, Tokyo Ghoul suffers from a fork situation, right? Where it's not even like at some point, like it's not even like Dragon Ball Super where you have certain moments happening differently in both the manga and the anime. However, they're following the same linear path and the same outcomes are always set to take place. Tokyo Ghoul is quite the opposite because season one of the anime covers whatever you know covers whatever from the manga that it covers and then as soon as season two takes place it goes in a completely different direction that the manga goes into but the problem with that is that you'll have purists on both sides that'll literally tell you don't watch it read it don't read it watch it because apparently both sides are still good enough to have people sticking up for both but mm. you'll never get one person that tells you that, that that tells you to just do both or whatever because well i'm know, gonna have to i'm gonna have to be the fucking i'm gonna have to be the fucking guy <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not gonna read it i'm gonna watch it though and i'm gonna let you know <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna let you know yeah um, i feel like I feel like for the for the new new heartbreak category where we're talking about you know shit that could have kept going and it's very clear, right? Come on, bro. Tower of God. <sighs> okay, Yo, wait, I wait, watched wait, wait, that wait, wait, shit. Wait, wait. I watched wait. that shit. Fire. It's gonna but... keep, wait. What's gonna it's gonna continue though? Is it okay? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're like, just gonna do I... what Attack on Titan did. They're just gonna take a ten year hiatus. <laughs> <laughs> These motherfuckers. Dude, that's what I'm talking years. about. That's heartbreaking. Bro. Okay. Tower of God was really good. And then the God of High School, I don't know if y'all seen that shit. Oh, yeah. That, oh, yeah. That shit, that shit needs to come back too. I don't know what these fucking cucks that's are doing. That's what I'm saying. They're, they're, taking, fucking, they're taking a decade off for no reason. These fucking guys, bro. I you know what the problem is, guys? Really, what, what the real issue here is when. Okay, so when we're talking about these heartbreaking situations for why it takes so long for a certain series to come back that's definitely heartbreaking but the problem is there i don't think there's enough fucking animators out there like there there's there's but so many studios especially the good ones right that are Bro, responsible right for now, doing that shit right now it's you foddable or bust you 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 foddable does uh what they they did they did fate and demon slayer oh okay Bro, yes. is Tokyo Ghoul not on a Crunchyroll? Uh, it might be on Funimation. What the fuck? Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, it might, it, it might be on Funimation. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> the fuck? I don't know, nah, nah, dude. Yeah. After after seeing what they did with season two for Demon Slayer, like number like first one was already really good, but the second one, no, nah, they are they are clearly the king animation studio. Wait, what so, are you talking about? What's going on with Demon Slayer? So you foddable, he's saying he's saying that he feels like you foddable the animator the animation studio behind Demon Slayer is the best uh, animation studio right oh, now. Oh, I mean that shit's for clean sure. as fuck. For sure. Whoever's doing that job it. is doing a beautiful job, bro. I can't think of any other ones right now. To That's be what honest. I'm saying. Like it's no competition. Studio Mappa, they do what? Attack on Titan, right? Yeah, no they, they actually did. They stepped their game up a lot, too. They're fucking lie. up there. They stepped their game up. <laughs> I, I but... mean, I can't complain about that shit. Damn it. Yeah, like... Nah, but... <sighs> nah, man. Too many enemies, bro. Too many heartbreaks too too many that many shouldn't heartbreaks. exist. Too many uncompleted fucks. Fucks. Yeah. yeah, man. Oh, here's one that I got for both of y'all. And, and and this one hits harder, but y'all will never understand. Oh my god. And it's Berserk. See? You, you see his reaction? <laughs> he fucking shrugged. He, he doesn't care. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> see, the, the reason why Berserk is, so, is, is probably... 
the most heartbreaking one is oh when God. you realize that it never truly outside of 97 and the you know the three movies it never got the respect that it should have in receiving an anime that was quality to even attempt to match the quality of the manga because the thing is manga has a very like you have all these different styles and art and in the mangaka that 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 draw and they produce what they do and it's beautiful on the paper right it's beautiful digitally in your hand when you buy the fucking manga or whatever and it's part of the reason why a lot of people like myself got into you know this whole space you know is the art Kentaro Miura, may he rest in peace. Okay, because that is another big reason why it's heartbreaking. Okay, because not only were they not able to just match this dude's kind of quality from paper to animation, this is an unfinished masterpiece that's never going to get an ending. Never. Because his, his, uh, his 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 like uh his helpers or his assistants right his assistants that have helped him through the years on berserk they already have said that they don't feel comfortable with trying to finish what he started and even though they might know how it w it would end it, there's a there's a there's a huge level of discomfort that I can only imagine how they would feel to have that heavy burden just be placed on their shoulders just to give, you know, something to the... And that's the thing. You can't just give something to people because then, in a, in a sense, it would almost, like, taint the legacy a little bit or diminish it a little bit. And that right there is, is epitome heartbreak. The fact that when they did try to give it an anime they fucking they yo they they did it they did berserk so dirty this is one of the pillars of the seinen genre of manga like that are so well renowned popular across the fucking globe that it got treated the way that it did fucking heresy that is that is that is a criminal like like everybody that made the decision at Crunchyroll to to even fucking greenlight what they did to hire an animation studio that doesn't even do that type of fucking anime in the first place those people should be like questioned they should be taken to court they should literally be put on trial for the crimes that they committed towards berserk so <laughs> it's never and, and and at this rate I don't think they're they're ever gonna revisit that shit because there's people that want to make a live action adaptation of it, but if they do, it'll just be the same Golden Arc, which you could watch in the '97 anime, you could watch on the Netflix movies. That's heartbreak, and y'all will never understand because this shit, fuck man, Berserk <laughs> has such a good story, bro, and it's a shame that this guy, this guy, do you realize that? Kentaro Miura was so detailed with his work that he was doing, he was adding finite details to, to shit that even the paper that they would be printing this shit on, even if it was digital, it was something that the computers couldn't even recognize because he was like, he was that in. Like if you go look at any of his artwork, bro, shit is shit is beautiful. It is like, dude, how do you, how does how does a human being do this? And then and then they're never gonna be able to fucking match that shit. You want you guys wanna talk about Demon Slayer and Attack on Titan having fucking beautiful animation? Listen, they got beautiful animation, absolutely correct, 100 percent But if if some studio ever has the fucking balls. <laughs> to ever to, to ever try to attempt to do berserk and make and make what's already gone godly levels of art and translate it to anime where it matches or exceeds 
that will it will get people to fucking forget all about Demon Slayer and Attack on Titan combined. I mean, yeah, I mean, put put Demon Slayer style animation onto Berserk, and I might watch that shit. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's all that that's needs nice. to happen. That's what should have happened. I don't know what the fuck these bo other bozo animation styles are even fucking doing, bro. Like, uh, that's all you gotta do. It's not that difficult. Nah, Shit, they well. fucked up Ruby because of animation, too. They didn't fuck. What do you mean? Ruby got better with time, bro. What are you talking about? Ah, fuck Ruby, bro. You are such a hater. Oh my god. I can't think. <laughs> I can't take it serious. Ay, ay, ay. Have you watched oh, Ruby Kai? No. Don't watch it. Don't listen to him. It's fun. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good. I I I totally just realized because I was going through my list and I just realized one that I've been sleeping on so hard. I don't know how it wasn't one of the first things I brought up in this topic. Seven Deadly Sins. Oh yeah, I've heard. I've heard. I heard it's heartbreaking. I don't know yeah. if I watched it. I feel like I, don't I think did, did, but I don't it, think so. It was, it was fire until it wasn't. And then that was it. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. That sucks. Yeah, there's there's definitely two more that fit that uh that other like that subcategory we're talking about where it's like there's there was there was so much room for more. And instead, they just want to put out these 12 13 head ass episodes and then just <laughs> call it a series i'm so done with that shit but i don't know if you ever seen um it's called a wadi no seraph a seraph of the end oh seraph of the end i've heard of it i've heard oh of my it. god that that one got me hooked so so heavy it's it's i don't know what to call it. it's like a fucking walmart brand demon slayer but that shit's still fire okay and uh the nice. other one the other one was uh, Misfit at Demon King Academy. These shows were so fire and they were so short. And I don't know how long ago they came out, but it was long enough to at least have a second season. Nothing. Yo, dude. I don't know if you ever that watched sucks. High School DxD, but that shit. I never watched it. Fire. Told, people tell me to watch it. That shit is it. heat, but they fucked up. Well, it's not even that they fucked up. It's that they didn't continue it. That's just heartbreaking. Like, how, how, yeah, you gonna, how are you going to have, like, two, three seasons of, like, good shit and then not continue? I fucking hate that shit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care how many episodes it is. If they just cut it off for no reason like that, done. Hey. Like, no no, no article, no explanation. Done. They just fucking... <laughs> how you doing? No article. Listen, you want to know what... You want, I mean, this is... Uh, we're in better times now. We want to know something that's fucking heartbreaking? Bleach. I you Why? see I was gonna say that but I'm not gonna say that because I there's news that it's coming back. So well, I'm yeah, but chilling. but at a time for at, at a, a time a at long a time, time. That, yeah you a long time me? those motherfuckers had me thirsting. <laughs> These motherfuckers. Remember, how many times we go to dad's house and dad the first question yo man when is bleach coming back right. for years years <laughs> it was only literally until I visited. For Christmas, I showed y'all the the teaser trailer, and he was like, and he fucking yes, I knew it, I knew it. Literally, his reaction. I was waiting years for fuck to show shit. show that shit, man. I don't know why it takes these it. freaking guys. I don't know why it takes so long to fucking just you know continue the shit, but apparently it takes fucking years of conviction to, or something <laughs> to happen. Like it, it's really not that that fucking hard to really like. I don't get I'm it. a third of the way through it. Oh damn, that's 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 what's up. That's good. Any skipping fillers? I tried, but I can't. Yes, you can. I, I <laughs> all right. Well, you're gonna have to send me whatever fucking guide you got yeah, yeah. because I tried and I see some shit when I'm like, you know, trying to get through the bullshit, and I'm like, no, there's definitely some important information in here, so I gotta, I gotta sit through this nonsense. Or so you think. You think. You think probably. Or so not, you not, think. Like, like if you think, like if you're seeing some hollow form Ichigo and some of these fillers, don't, don't let that bait you into that, because, <laughs> because I was there, and then I found out. Oh, this is right now. <laughs> uh, I forget where I'm. Um, right now, right now they're dealing no, with the bouts. Fooling. Oh, you, the, you said about? the the bounties. You said the bounce. Ah, oh. yeah. 
Yeah, Damn, nah, that nah. was filler number one right there, son. Filler, that filler, whole filler, thing. Filler. Listen, filler. I will never forget how that it's shit made important. me feel. Watching that shit, because, again, I used to watch shit waiting for the bus to go to school. And that was the bullshit that I had to watch in the morning. And then when I came home, and I'm like, and it was, a, it, I felt like, I was wasting my time. Imagine me. Yeah. That's look how at I my feel. fucking room. Imagine me saying that. That's how I feel too. Shit was trash. I was like, why? Like, <sighs> dude, you know, you know what's funny? I never to this day, I never went back to finish Bleach anime because I just read the manga. What? I said, I I just read it. I read it all. Fuck. <laughs> I never. I never. I never went back. To pick up where I left off to just skip the fillers. I didn't. So all these fights that you saw, I just read it. Those were godlike, man. Oh yeah, but I seen it happen in the in the fucking manga. Fuck. I watched that shit like at least three times throughout my fucking <laughs> lifetime. <laughs> at least. <laughs> shit. Man, yeah. Man. Well breaks. <laughs> fucking heartbreaks shit man those are like all the those are like all the really big ones that that uh that definitely came i'm glad that you guys brought up some of the ones that i thought of too because and it was funny kai you brought up a tokyo ghoul and i don't uh someone in my discord actually uh uh mentioned tokyo ghoul T fucking talk about that fucking funny because i was like wow <laughs> what timing so any any others that uh y'all wanna to th throw in there? Yeah, I wanted to throw out Noragami. Yo uh, I've heard of that, it. You watched that bro? That, it's yes. amazing. And they really should have kept going and they didn't. Shit. They really could have kept going on that shit. I remember that. That shit was interesting. Yo, you know lie. what? That's that's it didn't make my top five list, but it a hundred percent it a hundred percent would make my top ten list because of how much I liked it. But I gotta say, watching Bleach, I can see how much inspiration that show drew from it. Yeah, not nah, that ass. It was For one of real. those. It was one of those. But like, I don't know if it would make my top ten. Just because I have like a bunch of in my catalog. There's right? a lot of fucking. There's, there's, anime, I, right? I, I, yeah. Like it would probably it could probably make like a top fifteen, top twenty on my list just because I've watched so much shit. But <laughs> like, just think like, oh man. I mean that was a good one too though. Noragami. I forgot about that shit. The only reason I found that show was literally because there was nothing else on Crunchyroll at that moment that I wanted to watch, so I was snooping <laughs> on fucking Hulu and shit, Hulu and Netflix, and I found some fucking side animes. And then Noragami <laughs> was one of them. <laughs> so good though. It was good. Yeah. Fucking you know, shit. there is <laughs> one other one that I I thought of that this is a I'm pretty sure Brandon you're gonna remember this one too. King's game. Hmm. Hmm. I remember that. Kai, you remember what you ever heard that shit? Game. No. King's game was that shit was crazy, not gonna but then they fucked it up. <laughs> Dude, alright. This is another situation where, again, brand new concept, never watched something like this before. It was really good, pretty intriguing, kind of creepy. Because it was about a classroom that every day at midnight, if these kids didn't do what they were tasked to do someone was dying off rip and they were trying to figure out who is how are, how is this killer managing all these deaths all this shit was happening they were they had apparently there was a girl in the class that came from another school that went through a king's game already so I was like, okay, there's all these like elements that like makes that shit like really, you know, like you could get invested, you could get behind something like this, right? They get to a point where they it's like they had they fucking they like they had they found some scriptures or some shit mm. in, in the in the fucking woods in, in some 
in some secret ass area and we was like oh oh okay like like wh wh where's this going they all fucking die uh. all of them they all die all of them no explanation they got so close and yet they all the whole class dead and then they had the balls before it ended they show you a whole new classroom and the new king's game and it's just gonna repeat and they said <laughs> and they said that there was supposed to be a season two and i haven't i haven't gone looking for it because i'm like i don't that was the first anime that i ever actually said out loud i don't want a fucking season two <laughs> Yo, that it's like low-key like re-zero type i think I can see why you say that. Dude, yeah. that yeah. yeah, that's another one. That that one strung me that's... along for mad long for no reason, dude. Uh, you know, that shit's just like a grinder. And that's for it's what? Just, I don't even know, man. Like I, I never zero, finished season two. I never even touched it. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's... I mean it it was a it was a the reason why I never touched it, honestly, personally, was just cause like I didn't really feel like going through that shit again. Just because, like, it was so much repeating. <laughs> Re oh, yeah. Because nigga would die, get sent back to, like, level one. <laughs> die, <laughs> get sent back to level one. Like, how many I mean, times hey, are you hey, going to hey, see the same shit? He had checkpoints. Yeah, whatever. He did have checkpoints. He did have checkpoints, but they were random, low-key. That's facts. Like, it, like, like, you can never actually tell when he was at a checkpoint, I feel like. Like, oh, it was never. like... It was because it was like okay he 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 finally fucking passed the first one or okay. whatever but then but then it's like where you where do you determine your next checkpoint like they like but it wasn't it's see, never the, like that. The problem with that show for me was like it was it was a really cool unique and interesting concept that mm -hmm. went fucking nowhere. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, low King's key game. because because he wanted he wanted to like shit he like he wanted to live life or whatever the fuck like he wanted kinda... to fuck his bitch well yeah essentially <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah but he had he had to go through all these loops and shit and fucking however destiny Yo, fucking he went was, through it. Was, he did go through it listen y'all want a better version of re-zero watch erased oh seen it oh yeah oh yeah so you know I don't know if I've seen that. I, it's short. I wasn't even. I don't know. I I think it. I think that was crazy overhyped. I thought it was good, but I think it was way overhyped. I thought it was fucking awesome. I, I know, thinking I just, back, I, it was really the good. The ending didn't do it for me. Oh, man, I just felt. I just felt like. I felt like shit was unresolved, and it just kind of. It felt really? rushed. I don't fuck with animes that are only a season long. I don't fuck with anime that for ass. only 12, 13 episodes. I yeah, exactly. Like, that shit. like that, like there, there should be, there should be a fucking rule that just right. says you cannot fucking terminate an anime within 12, 13 episodes. There needs to be at minimum, minimum. Fuck that shit. There needs to be three <laughs> seasons. Yo, three seasons. <laughs> three yeah, seasons. Yo, nah, nah, nah. See, he, <laughs> yo, you asking too much. Yes. Nah, he's nah, but wait, no, no, no. But they, like, it has to be three seasons at least of twelve to thirteen episodes. If they don't want to push it to twenty-four per season, like that's that's too much. Cause yeah, that's how that's how like if if, if it was like that and then they end it, but it's shit, then you're you're just gonna get shit on. But if they end it <laughs> though, like a good fucking way, yeah, that to to go out in a bang, then by all means do it. Because they like you like there's no point in like because there are certain animes to where there's only there's a limit so like if they were to kind of extend it there would there would have to be a really good reason <laughs> like and it, it would also have to make sense because it, once it doesn't make sense no more then it turns into fucking ass so like that's just how I feel that anime should fucking be. Fuck these one season ass nigga ass animes, bro. Yes. I, like because they just end up in disappointment and fucking yes. disgrace. Because, bro. Uh, like, yeah, talk. I get. Well, a lot of the ones that we were talking about definitely have one like, season. Because so, because yeah. there's just so much potential. Like there's like especially for the one I'm talking about the ones with potential. Fuck the other ones. 
<laughs> I don't care. <laughs> but the the ones that we're naming are generally with they have potential. They just ended too early. Oh, that's why know, I say three. That's why I say three seasons. You 12, know, thirteen episodes each. Which one? I don't understand why. Um, why? F- based on what I hear, because I saw I saw everything for the anime. I saw both seasons of this show, but um, I know that you know niggas really shit on season two of One Punch Man, and I don't understand it. <laughs> I never, yo, we I never, never it. finished it. I only I, watched like maybe two episodes, three episodes. I think when I went to go watch the first episode of season two, I like fell asleep, and then I just never went back to uh, picking that back up. I thought it was fine. Like I was, I was not even the slightest into that show in the first place. But once I started watching it, I thought it was pretty good, and I just watched it all the way through, like both seasons. I thought it was fine. I mean, the first one was just it was fire, but it was funny too. Like it was comical, low key, because of like especially when he was like so in that exam shit. That was like probably the best part. That was so the, the fucking the funniest one? shit ever. That was probably the funniest shit I've seen, dude. That in anime, that trial thing that he was in. It was because of those episodes that we got Danny into watching One Punch Man. Oh my god. Because I'll never forget we went to his house. Literally, he was shitting on it for no reason. He was like, this shit looks so stupid. Why would you guys watch this? And then he fell in love. He went, He didn't want to stop watching it. He kept pulling, letting the episodes rock after that shit. Bro, it's just, it's it's the way the character is designed, how he looks and how he like, how he just is as a Psycho character. Man. And then... And then, like, on top of that, like, the nigga, like, a nigga that looks like that, bro, like, with that much strength, speed, whatever, stamina, like. See, that's what I'm it, saying, though. Like, what's wrong with season two? I don't yeah, know what's I, wrong I just, I just two. don't know. I never, I just hear, like, that's the thing. Like, the only thing that I've ever heard about One Punch Man is literally how, like, season two, like, came and went. And you see. Uh, one thing about One Punch Man, though, that I never understood, and I don't know if they fixed this in season two, but I just don't understand how he wasn't a top tier, uh, like, hero or whatever. Like, they downgraded him in, well, because he failed, like, I think the the paper exam or some shit like that, but fuck that shit. Like, it's taking out, like, S tier here. I villain. think that's the, that's the comedy part to it, though. It probably is, but, that, like, bruh. <laughs> like yeah, at like one point they probably got a real they got to recognize real <laughs> at some point whether i don't know if they do it in season two but like well the manga's ongoing so it hasn't stopped because like it's 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 interesting because his what the his mentee or whatever the the robot oh, dude genos yeah he was like a top he was a top hero and he was getting trained by fucking saitama like what kind of shit is that you think it's the other way around but yeah. nah, that shit's just comedy i guess but yeah i missed that show i got i gotta get back onto that one nah. Damn me. all right well that was a good discussion right there all the heartbreaks i'm sure there's uh, there's some others there's actually one that i'm I'm kind of holding on to because uh, I think for the next topic, uh, for the uh, next episode, we could probably talk about animes that we've seen where we would want to, where we saw something that we would want to change. Because <laughs> I think that would, that would, that would be a good, a good talking point right there. And then Osama's and- existence. <laughs> uh, but uh, anything else you guys want to leave the folks with before we uh, dip out of here? Nah, I've said my piece. <laughs> I lost my piece, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Thank y'all for tuning in. If you, uh, of course, listen this uh, this long, hope you guys have enjoyed this week's episode of Full Power Podcast. And if there's any other questions, comments, concerns that you guys might have, any future topics that you might want to hear us discuss here on the podcast, hit us up at fullpowerpod at gmail.com. That is fullpowerpod at gmail.com. And obviously, leave your comments on the YouTube version as well as the Spotify polls and questionnaire because any feedback... Is better than no feedback. It's been your boy Ooch, the homie Kai, and yours truly. Make sure y'all taking care of yourselves. May the power take keep a lock live right here on this podcast. Stay safe, stay clean, and stay the hell inside. We'll see y'all next time.
And by the way, fuck Rachel. <laughs> yeah.